Hello everyone and welcome back to Winter 89 Colors. I know it has been at least four or five minutes since I've been in. I'm sorry, I've been dealing with a lot. I will do a whole different video on why, you know, my absence has been so notable. However, um, I still have been keeping track of things. I still have been coloring and I'm still happy to share these things with you. As you can see, I've written down a very sparse plan as to what I'm doing. Um, I've been keeping track of everything using very expensive pens that I shouldn't have been using just for keeping track, but here we are. Um, so I have a pile of books over here that I would like to share my November 2023 completed pages. I don't know if somebody, some of you will be, um, less interested in seeing these just because they're so far off the mark. However, um, I'm still going to share them with you because it seems like, you know, that's the thing to do. It, we're all friends here, and despite the fact that we, you know, haven't connected as much as we'd like to, I think we should re, you know, we should catch up. I was going to mix these in with my December completed pages. However, there is enough here that I can kind of make its own video. And also, a lot of them overlap as far as which books it is, and I didn't want to get confused as to which pages I finished this month or that month. Um, it's been a bit of a mess. Anywho, the point is, is that I have a lot of videos planned, as you can see, and I will try to, I know, keep up with that. So, all that being said, I will skip forward and show you what I have done. Let me get myself centered here. There we have it. Sorry about the lighting. Again, I have all the lights on, but it is January well, almost February in Canada right now, so the lighting is questionable at best. All right, so it's all lined up for you. Sorry about the shape cam. All right. So the first one that was of note was in Lost Ocean. Now, this um, particular book holds a special place in my heart because, as with many of you, this was one of the first I ever picked up. Uh, you can see the mess that it is, all the pencil scrapings and, you know, whatever else is going on on the cover. It's kind of a mess, but um, I decided to pull it out again and I decided to finish something. So I decided to do um, this particular page. I don't know why, it just stood out to me. There she is, sorry. So let me zoom in for you. So this is the two seahorse page as I call it. And she is, you know, I'm really proud of the way that she turned out. This was a really early experiment with me um, as far as Albert Dewar watercolor pencils go. And that's the whole background, all this blue. Um, a lot of the Albert Dewars also in um, this magenta color and in these flowers. And I love the... Um, the palette that kind of turned out with this. A lot of it I left just sort of like based on the watercolor marks. Um, I've got a little glossy accents in the eyes there. No, 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 sorry. That's um, Sakura's. Uh... Wow. Glaze? Thank you. Um, and then there's also multiple different gel pens and other sparklies. So let me give you a little... So yeah, this was a really good resurrection from the grave for this book. It turned out really lovely, and uh, I hope you guys like it too. It, it kind of just worked its way out, so so that's nice. So that was Lost Ocean by Joanna Bassford. Next we have Gnome Sweet Gnome, and this one I really apologize for because I had a buddy color with a dear friend in this in November. And I just, I was not in a mental space to deal with it. I finished it early and I let her know and I sent it to her so that she could see it. Um, but then I disappeared off the face of the earth for the rest of the month. And I'm just glad I got it finished, but I would like to reach out to Candace Crafting and Coloring. Um, I'm so sorry because I was just not in the headspace to, to do these things, but this is the page that we agreed on and this is the page I finished and I will tag her in the description box 
And this is what I finished. Out, there we go. So once again, as with almost all of my pages, it is a multimedia piece. Um, some of it was based with Ohuhu markers. Some of it was not. Um, a lot of it was done with Prismacolor pencils, particularly the little gnome there. Um, there's Posca, there's Ohuhu glitter pens, there's, you know, all kinds of things. going. Honestly, I don't even want to name it all. It's just there's so much happening and it turned out so great. And I really can't wait to see Candace's. I feel like I really missed out on that buddy. So I'm going to give a really big shout out to her because she obviously had to be patient with me. And well, here is my half of, of the deal. So I hope it turned out well and everybody liked it. Moving on. We have a Rita Berman, which is always an intimidating specimen, let's be honest. Um, but I managed to pull one together on this. I don't know why this particular page called to me. Hold on, just flipping through to find it. I know a lot of people do this on screen, but I just, I find it easier to just flip through. And that's this baby. So this is in Amsterdam, obviously. But it's these four buildings and they went way out of my comfort zone and I did some pastels. But I also did some darks down here. I mean, again, there's a plethora of different things. We've got um, Artex markers, we've got Albert Dewars, we've got Prismacolors, we've got gel pens. We, again, it's I, I am the epity, epitome of mixed media, but yeah, there's all kinds of things happening in here. Glitter for days. I hope this one, I feel like it's so subtle compared to other things I've done that it it, it shocks me a little bit and I'm, I'm having a hard time, um, you know, believing that I did it, but, but here we are and, and I did and it turned out really well. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way it did turn out and, you know, let me know what you think of it. Again, that was Ein Reis der Europa. This, uh, as I will mention in another video, is one of my first to complete books. I got it really early in my coloring career and um, I don't know why because I don't really play this game, <laughs> but, uh, but it's still just a, like a really fun and simple book to color. So I have done several, but I will show you those later. But I'll show you the one that I did finish, mo you know, this month in, no in November, right? And it's this one. So this was done very largely using uh, Artex acrylic markers. So it's not as perfect as alcohol markers. You can see there's some streaks and there's some things happening. Um, but it's still not bad. At least it's kind of like reasonably consistent. I was able to get some shading in on this tree. Not great shading. Don't judge me. Um, I got some different glitter markers happening in here. It was just an experiment basically for the paper, for the materials I was using. Um, but that's one more down for the count in this little book, which I've been tracking. So there are a few others in here that you will see very soon. Welcome to the Village by Morgan O'Brien. Next, we've got Marie Atroy. And I am surprised at how much work I've done in this book. Again, not everything's gonna be seen today because we're catching up from old, old things. Um, almost cursed there, I am, you know. <laughs> getting back into my filming brain, don't mind me, but I did this one at work actually. And I was impressed with what I was able to do at work with Crayola pencils. This was entirely Crayolas. And this paper is so great that it allowed me to use the Crayolas to the best potential that they have. 
So you can see all kinds of shading. You can see the flowers I've managed to blend. You can see in these, these little leaves that I've managed to create some white space. So doing this at work between my clients and with Crayolas, I'm really impressed. I think that this went really, really well. So, you know, if anybody else has any thoughts on that, let me know. But otherwise, there's lots more that I've done in this book. I just, again, this is what I did in November. November was a slow month for me. I was not feeling well. Again, I'll explain that in another video, but I did do that at least. Next, Worlds of Wonder, which is another book that eventually I'd like to complete. I mean, this one in particular, I can't because there's a few scrapped pages. Um, so if we don't count those, then I'd still like to complete it. But anyways, so for this one, oh, I finished the very last page. This little guy, this repeat pattern. Um, again, Albert Doors. Um, yeah, I had just gotten these in November, so I was like all about the Albert Doors. Um, but anyway, so if you can see, there's lots of also gold gel pen, uh, could be Signo, could be Jelly Roll, not 100% sure, but lots of gel pen, but otherwise just Albert Doers activated. I tried to activate them as much as possible to see what they were like, but yeah, I thought that one turned out really cute. It was a good experimental page. Worlds of Wonder. Next, we've got Morning Scribbles, which is a book I've weirdly been intimidated by. I think it's because the, the images are so huge. Huge. Look at my, I have huge hands. Like, this is crazy. Um, and I don't know what to do with that amount of space. But I did find one image in here that I just had to do. And he turned out pretty good. I don't know why, but I didn't feel like he needed a background. Because I felt like... It would just overshadow him. But my little devil dude, it was all Ohuhu alcohol markers. Um, and then I added like a few gel pen accents just to give him some glitter. Oh yeah, all the glitter. But he's a beautiful little devil boy. And you're loving me, you cute. But yeah, so that's what I finished in Morning Scribbles by Chris Reniac. Next, we have 50 Space Themed Miniatures by Camellia Angel Koval, which is a book that I have been highly anticipating, and I love it, and I think it's beautiful. Um, and I love it so much that I don't want to color in it, ah, but I still have. <laughs> right, so what did I finish? Ah, yes, the owner card page. So this was the first picture that I did in this book, and I did it using Polychromos, Ohuhu alcohol markers, and all kinds of glitter right so i don't know like this was just one of those things where i was testing out the paper i was testing out how i feel about things but yeah there is so much glitter you can't even like this is homemade glitter glue over here like i used clear glue and sparkles and yeah it's it's a lot um but i thought it all turned out really well like i, I think this was my first time using like for, for first real time trying to use polychromos. So like I'm happy with the shading and the way things went and I've got an Ohuhu underneath all of this. So, but yeah, but that's, so that's, that was my basic introduction to this lovely Camellia Angel Cova book. Just two more books. All right. And this is going to be a shorter video for me, given these things, I'm not going to ramble on, but so the next one is Rooms of Wonder. Now, this one, I'm not even sure I can say I can, well, I technically completed it in November, but um, it had been a whip for months. Months, maybe years, I'm not sure. I've had this book for a long time, but I finally finished this this underwater scene. So, so I, I started this, and I wasn't in a great headspace when I did, so I kind of messed it up. But then, I don't know, I came back to it again and again, and I tried to work it out, um, tried to make it so that it uh, suited me. And you know what? I'm actually not mad the way it turned out. I'm not even going to pretend 
like I know everything that went into this, but Prisma was the base, Posca on the outside for black. It could be anyone's guess as to how many glitters and shinies I used in here, but at least it's finished, at least it's done. I was afraid that I was gonna scrap this page and that would have been kind of devastating to me, to be honest with you, because it's such a beautiful page. I've already scrapped one in this book and I'll do a, I'm hoping to do a video on scrapped pages, but like, this didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. So I'm really happy with that. So I hope you guys think it's all right as well. Like it's pretty decent. All right, that was Rooms of Wonder by Joanna Basford. And the final book, I don't know what possessed me to buy this book, but I just did. This is by Coloring Book Cafe and it's just like a hundred Christmas scenes. And I think that's just because I felt like I didn't have a lot of seasonal books. So I just kind of like picked this one up because it was not super expensive. Um, but anyway, so I did my first page in here. And that was this two Teddies page. So obviously the base is alcohol marker. Oh, hoo hoo. Um, I did some shading in with Prismas, uh, also some cheap pencils, actually. I'm 100% I'm sure that all these Hollies were done with, like, a base of alcohol, but then I used um, Dollarama, um, Dollar Store pencils, Studio pencils, like, whatever the cheapest pencil ever existing is, I used those just to see what would happen. Um, the background is, again, oh, no, the background is some kind of water-based marker. I forget. Get, oh, Stedler water-based markers. And then I used um, polychromos to like shade in the edges. And then I don't even know, multiple different glitter sources. But yeah, she turned out actually surprisingly okay and uh, really cute. I love the shading on the little noses I did. So this is not the worst book ever. I mean, the paper is super thin. You can see how thin it is. Like, you can see the page beforehand. But, like, it worked out as long as you put enough, in, you know, as long as you put enough uh, safety paper in between, you're all right. So that's Coloring Book Cafe's 100 Christmas Scenes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this final returning video. I am so sorry that it's taken me so long, but unfortunately my mental health hasn't been super. So it's been a minute since I've been able to actually put something together that makes any sense. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for just watching in general. Thank you for being patient with me if you've had to take the time to do so. So hopefully I will have a few more videos up for you. Well, you know, starting now until forever, but, uh, you never know what's going to happen in the future, so I don't want to put too high of expectations on myself. But I'm just so excited that um, that you guys are still here and that you guys are watching me now. And that's really, I really appreciate that. And uh, especially to all the people that I follow that have kept me motivated. Um, I, I couldn't even name them all. I, I Even through all of my worst mental stuff, I kept watching all of your videos, all you colorists out there. So thank you for that. And... Uh, well, this is the end and I will see you soon. Happy coloring. Thanks so much.